Ring-tailed lemur. The ring-tailed lemur, lemur cata, is a large strepsirrhine primate and the most recognized lemur due to its long, black and white ringed tail. It belongs to Lemuridae, one of five lemur families, and is the only member of the lemur genus. Like all lemurs it is endemic to the island of Madagascar. The ring-tailed lemur is highly social, living in groups of up to 30 individuals. It is also female dominant, a trait common among lemurs. To keep warm and reaffirm social bonds, groups will huddle together. The ring-tailed lemur will also sunbathe, sitting upright facing its underside, with its thinner white fur towards the sun. Like other lemurs, this species relies strongly on its sense of smell and marks its territory with scent glands. The males perform a unique scent marking behavior called sperm marking and will participate in stink fights by impregnating their tail with their scent and wafting it at opponents. As one of the most vocal primates, the ring-tailed lemur uses numerous vocalizations including group cohesion and alarm calls. Experiments have shown that the ring-tailed lemur, despite the lack of a large brain relative to simiaform primates, can organize sequences, understand basic arithmetic operations and preferentially select tools based on functional qualities. The ring-tailed lemur is an opportunistic omnivore primarily eating fruits and leaves, particularly those of the tamarind tree Tamarindus indica, known natively as Kali. When available, tamarind makes up as much as 50% of the diet, especially during the dry, winter season. The ring-tailed lemur eats from as many as three dozen different plant species, and its diet includes flowers, herbs, bark and sap. It has been observed eating decayed wood, earth, spider webs, insect cocoons, arthropods, spiders, caterpillars, cicadas and grasshoppers, and small vertebrates, birds and chameleons. During the dry season it becomes increasingly opportunistic. Despite reproducing readily in captivity and being the most populous lemur in zoos worldwide, numbering more than 2,000 individuals, the ring-tailed lemur is listed as endangered by the IUCN Red List due to habitat destruction and hunting for bushmeat and the exotic pet trade. As of early 2017, the population in the wild is believed to have crashed as low as 2,000 individuals due to habitat loss, poaching and hunting, making them far more critically endangered. Anatomy and Physiology the ring-tailed lemur is a relatively large lemur. Its average weight is 2.2 kilograms. Its head body length ranges between 39 and 46 centimeters, its tail length is 56 and 63 centimeters, and its total length is 95 and 110 centimeters. Other measurements include a hind foot length of 102 and 113 millimeters, ear length of 40 and 48 millimeters, and cranium length of 78 and 88 millimeters. The species has a slender frame and narrow face, fox-like muzzle. The ring-tailed lemur's trademark, a long, bushy tail, is ringed in alternating black and white transverse stripes, numbering 12 or 13 white rings and 13 or 14 black rings, and always ending in a black tip. The total number of rings nearly matches the approximate number of caudal vertebrae, approximately 25. Its tail is longer than its body and is not prehensile. Instead, it is only used for balance, communication, and group cohesion. The pelage fur, is so dense that it can clog electric clippers. The ventral chest, coat and throat are white or cream. The dorsal back, coat varies from grey to rosy brown, sometimes with a brown pickle patch around the tail region, where the fur grades to pale grey or greyish brown. The dorsal coloration is slightly darker around the neck and crown. The hair on the throat, cheeks, and ears is white or off-white and also less dense, allowing the dark skin underneath to show through. The muzzle is dark grayish and the nose is black, and the eyes are encompassed by black triangular patches. Facial vibrissae, whiskers, are developed and found above the lips, mistakal, on the cheeks, genal, and on the eyebrow, superciliary. Vibrissae are also found slightly above the wrist on the underside of the forearm. The ears are relatively large compared to other lemurs and are covered in hair, which has only small tufts if any. Although slight pattern variations in the facial region may be seen between individuals, there are no obvious differences between the sexes. Unlike most diurnal primates, but like all strepsirine primates, the ring-tailed lemur has a tapetum lucidum, or reflective layer behind the retina of the eye, that enhances night vision. The tapetum is highly visible in this species because the pigmentation of the ocular fundus back surface of the eye, which is present in, but varies between, all lemurs, is very spotty. The ring-tailed lemur also has a rudimentary foveal depression on the retina. 
Another shared characteristic with the other Strepsirrhine primates is the renarium, a moist, naked, glandular nose supported by the upper jaw and protruding beyond the chin. The renarium continues down where it divides the upper lip. The upper lip is attached to the premaxilla, preventing the lip from protruding and thus requiring the lemur to lap water rather than using suction. The skin of the ring-tailed lemur is dark grey or black in colour, even in places where the fur is white. It is exposed on the nose, palms, soles, eyelids, lips, and genitalia. The skin is smooth, but the leathery texture of the hands and feet facilitate terrestrial movement. Its fingers are slender, padded, mostly lacking webbing, and semi-dextrous with flat, human-like nails. The thumb is both short and widely separated from the other fingers. Despite being set at a right angle to the palm, the thumb is not opposable since the ball of the joint is fixed in place. As with all strepsorines, the hand is ectaxonic, the axis passes through the fourth digit, rather than mesaxonic, the axis passing through the third digit, as seen in monkeys and apes. The fourth digit is the longest, and only slightly longer than the second digit. Likewise, the fifth digit is only slightly longer than the second. The palms are long and leathery, and like other primates, they have dermal ridges to improve grip. The feet are semi-digitigrade and more specialized than the hands. The big toe is opposable and is smaller than the big toe of other lemurs, which are more arboreal. The second toe is short, has a small terminal pad, and has a toilet claw, sometimes referred to as a grooming claw, specialized for personal grooming, specifically to rake through fur that is unreachable by the mouth. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video please like and subscribe.